some questions about this car. Is it provide? Is it? It says uh, Los Angeles City on the side of it. Why is that? We leased the car from Honda. It's uh -huh. part of a demonstration project. How much is this the cost of the lease? It's a little more than five hundred. Five hundred dollars a month. Yeah. And where do you get the fuel? We have a fueling station in downtown, and also at uh, Lava. It's at LAX Airport. LAX. Yeah. So how far can you go uh, from those fueling stations? Uh, the Per tank, it's about 210 miles. So how far could you go away from it? Could you go to, uh, you couldn't go to San Francisco. No, no. Uh, you know, you can go uh, to the halfway point. Back. 50 miles? Yeah, and there are other stations <laughs> in the area. That there's uh -huh. a station in Torrance, and there's a station in Burbank, and then uh -huh. in the Inland Empire, there are several stations. And how much do this, does it cost to fill up the, the tank? Well, the last, um, Last time I checked, it was about six dollars a gallon. But it, so they they charge the cost is somewhere between uh, six six dollars a gallon and fifteen dollars a gallon. Fifteen dollars a gallon? I've never heard. Oh, of that. just six dollars a gallon? Yeah. Okay. That's, that's the other guy said says. the other guy said fifteen. Which one? The guy who just took off. The city of Santa Monica. Yeah. So that might it might be higher now. Yeah. Uh, who supplies the hydrogen? It's supplied by Honda. Honda. Okay. Yeah. Praxair, or it could be Liquid Air Products. I'm not sure. Liquid air or prax air, right? Uh, and how long do you expect to keep the car? I'm not sure. It's it's leased, I think, uh, on a yearly basis. Uh huh. How long have you had it? Uh, I think we started in 2001. 2001. Yeah, we were the first city to in the world to uh -huh. to participate in the demonstration project. This particular car? Yeah, for the SCX. I mean, is this the same car has been in operation for seven years now, six years? No, they keep changing them out, so I don't know. Oh, I see. Yeah, they're studying the cars. We're putting mileage, and they're studying them, and I guess improving the newer uh -huh. models. How many, uh, many, how many time, how long does it go before they change them out? Do you know? I don't know. I'm not in that the maintenance end uh -huh. of it. I'm just. Uh, Do you know how many miles are on this car? I think it's around 4,800. 4,800 miles. Yeah. Okay. And how long has you had it? This car, I'm not sure when they changed it out last. So maybe a, a year or oh, six I months. I Okay. Yeah. They're always changing them out. Uh huh. So work four, on them into, uh -huh. Okay. Well, so 4,800 miles on this uh, Honda, and they get change them out all the time. Okay. So thank you. What this what this very revealing uh, interview tells us is is several things. First of all, Honda has the fuel cell uh, car with a fuel cell stack and a lithium ion battery with. Uh, specially uh, designed high-tech tanks that can go up to 10,000 psi now appro approximately now the, when we had the Honda EV uh, we rode ours uh, 60 some thousand miles and that was an electric car which ran on nickel metal hydride batteries no fuel cell stack no tanks uh, we, we loved the car drove beautifully uh, Honda called us in one day and said it needed special servicing and they took the car and they wouldn't give it back and they canceled our lease and that was it. Uh, I was sent home in a rental car and without they didn't tell me that I wasn't going to get the car back. Uh, that car, uh, you know, it lasted as long as you wanted it to last and, and it drove as far as you wanted it to drive. We drove it all the way to Oregon. You know, we charged it up at RV stations and once in Wolf Creek at a, at a welding shop. Now this this fuel cell car uh, is, is 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 a little different. Uh, Honda is is taking it back from time to time, which tells us that the fuel cell stack or the lithium batteries need replacement. So they're they're servicing the fuel cell stack, or they're replacing the fuel cell stack, or they're replacing the fuel the lithium battery or the tanks. You know, there's some issue where they're physically taking the car back and giving this uh, city of Los Angeles a different car. So uh, what we can also tell uh, from this is that with 4,500 miles on it, this car hasn't been around very long. You know, this at 100 miles a day, that's 45 days of driving. So the, the Honda fuel cell uh, test, you know, you could, you could declare a success there, but it it's, it's indicates that there's uh, severe issues with uh, their fuel cell program to this date. And they've had this in effect since 2001. 
this is in the, this was before they started crushing all the electric cars, uh, although not after they started taking them away. And, and so this isn't a isn't a, isn't a, isn't a new program. It's a mature program, and they're still having troubles with the fuel cell stack. And, and the, the demonstration car only has 4,500 miles on it. And it's, it's basically, you know, a piece of junk. This is probably the same, the same, the same exact battery comp uh, control compartment that they had on the RAV4 EV. And the, here's, the, here's the, probably the hydrogen decompression unit down there. And all this other junk up here. They probably spent a million dollars on this piece of crap.